How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Kaspersky Free Antivirus. We're going to go ahead and review it, take a look at it. Now, if you go to the Kaspersky website, you will f not find the free version anywhere. Instead, they will be making you buy it. All you, all you can see is Kaspersky Premium Plus and Standard. To get the free version, you actually got to go to Google, type in Kaspersky Free, and it will be this first one here, Free Antivirus Software 2022. It's funny how they're tricky like that. But anyway, once you go to this link here, click on download now, and you'll be able to download the free version. And this is the free version right now. This is what it looked like when you install it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. It looks a little different from the previous version. It's a, It looks a lot more sleek. And right away they ask you if you want to make Google Chrome bulletproof. If you click on details there, they're going to sell you or actually make you add it might be free. They'll make you add um, this extension here to protect your Chrome web browser. And let's take a look at the rest of the program here. So at the very top, it'll it'll give you, if you have a green check mark, it means you're good. Automatic threat protection is on uh, up, and your database is up to date. Okay, you can click on details here and see everything here no active threats detected automatic threat detection is on and it's up to date now if you go back you'll be able to see the type of scans they have here they have a quick scan which i like to call a cheap scan never do a quick scan guys it, it doesn't work click on the little arrow here on the right hand side what i recommend you do is you do a full scan here and it's really easy to scan it you just click run scan and it starts right away now it's going to take forever the full scan takes forever. I recommend doing it overnight. And you get the option to keep the computer turned on when it's done or shut down the computer when it's done. Go to sleep or even reboot, whatever you want to do there. Now, if you go to settings here on full scan, you can go even more in depth. You can go extreme here, which will slow down your computer more, it says, but it'll find a lot more stuff for you guys. Now, when it does find something, you can select act uh, to do an action automatically or just disinfect, delete. If disinfection fails or it can do notify so I like to do notify because I have some programs that Kaspersky can see as a virus when it's not really a virus so I like to tell it to notify me you can even edit the scan scope now this is really cool here a lot of free antivirus programs don't have this but this one does instead of manual you can make it scan at a specific time and you can make it uh, scan at at a certain date and postpone running after application you can do a lot of stuff with this with this free kaspersky antivirus which i like a lot now if you go to advanced settings you can also uh, change some more settings here like to scan all files or file scan by format extension you can optimize it you can do a lot of stuff with kaspersky which is, I think is, is really, really helpful, especially for the free edition that they're um, adding all this. That's good. You can do a selective scan. If you want to select just a certain folder, you can select a USB stick if you have it connected. And you can even do an application vulnerability scan. It'll see if you have any uh, apps that uh, might be vulnerable. And as you can see, they have a lot more stuff here. You get instant file scan which is similar to the uh, selective scan and uh, it did, it's, it's always doing a background scan which is really cool scan is run automatically so it's always running in the background just to make sure you're not running anything bad there <coughs> alright so when we look at the security tab here we get to see a scans running right now which is that that full scan which is going to take a while it's got antivirus. Right now it's running uh, file antivirus, network attack blocker, safe browsing, and mail antivirus. Now you can go ahead and click on the on the sprocket here on the settings and uh, also look at some more stuff it can do here. You have network settings. You can look you, network settings. You can look at your reports in quarantine. So here you can limit if you really want to get into the, the network details of what's going on you can monitor all ports you can do a lot of stuff here 
which is a really good thing for a free antivirus. Usually free antivirus don't have as much stuff like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons from PC Mag, what they have to say about Kaspersky. So the pros they say is near perfect lab test scores, excellent ransomware protection. So that's good that it protects us against ransomware. Now ransomware is a virus that takes your computer hostage and then asks you for money to get it back, which even if you pay them, it never works. It's a network attack blocker, which deters exploits. So it protects your network. Useful security bonuses, which we went through and it's free. So it's got a lot of stuff for it being free. The cons is the so-so scores in our hands-on tests. So the tests didn't do that well against antivirus. It might have a lot of useful features, but it, when it comes, you know, to how it really works, we'll look at those test scores. It, it, it didn't have good test scores. And some bonus features require upgrade, which is what we see in every free antivirus program. <clears throat> now, the free specs is on-demand malware scan on access malware scan website ratings where when you visit websites malicious url blocking phishing protection that's when you go to the fake facebook or the fake uh, um, whatever website you're going to and it's fake and you put your your password in there they'll get your password behavior based detection vulnerability scan it does not have that and does not have a firewall you have to pay for the other kaspersky version that you have to pay for to get those features Let's take a look at the test. But before we look at the test, let's see how they do it. So the experts at AV Test Institute rate antivirus products on three criteria, protection, performance, and usability, where the last item refers to minimizing incidents where the antivirus flags a legitimate app or website as dangerous. A product can take up to six points in each category for a maximum of 18 points. Kaspersky scored a perfect 18 in the latest test, as did Norton, Antivirus Plus, Trend Micro, and 10 others. AV Comparatives reports on a wide variety of tests, which follow three malware protection, real world protection, performance. Any product that passes a test receives standard certification. Those that go beyond the minimum needed to pass can reach advanced or advanced plus certification. Kaspersky did well with advanced plus certifications in two tests related to malware protection and one advanced for performance. A vast AVG antivirus free and Bitdefender edged out Kaspersky's achievement with advanced plus in all three tests. So yeah, other Antivirus did better, but let's look at the actual test itself and here you could see all the other ones that we're comparing it to so Kaspersky free right here Protection score is 9.3 Which is uh, on the lower end we have for example zone alarm with 9.8 G data with 9.8 and McAfee with 9.7 so it's down here at the bottom almost detection is 93% Malicious URL blocking is 81%. So Kaspersky is down there when it comes to uh, the actual tests. Now, like I said, I really like the features. The features are there, but when we look at that test, it when, when it really comes down to it, it doesn't do as good as other antiviruses when it comes to the, you know, the actual performance of finding threats. So... I would rate Kaspersky free out of five stars. I would rate it maybe a three because of the test. And that's where I really like to look is the test here. So we'll look at the other ones that are up there, like G-Data, Zone Alarm, McAfee, and some other ones. But yeah, three, three out of five because of the testing score. However, it's almost pushing a four star because of all the features that it has. It has a lot of features, guys. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys test it out, let me know on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next antivirus review video.